Hurry up. You have six minutes to start. What do you mean? I want to say we started recording before 6 a.m. It's 5.54. <laughs> okay. Is it, is it on? It's recording. Oh, good. Should Welcome I give to a clap? the morning show. Welcome to the morning show. You don't show. have to clap. We you don't? can line it up with the birds that are singing outside. I know that You they did won't. have nothing on your teeth, and now somehow you have something on your teeth. I don't know how you did that. That was impressive. How did that happen? I don't know. How does it go away? And does it not come on the teeth during application? No. It comes on from my lips. You have to keep checking? No. Just That's don't a weird worry thing. I didn't know teeth. how that happened. It's the first time I've ever seen that magic trick you did with your mouth. <laughs> because I asked you first. Yeah, there, there was, was nothing. nothing. <laughs> and then you showed your face and boom, it was there. It like, felt like a Maybe setup. Maybe you didn't you actually it. look the first time. You oh, just said yes. We have video yes. evidence. You will see. There was none. Okay. And then it was full on. When was the last time... You We've been up since the butt this crack much. of dawn. <laughs> How was the last time you had this much it's, makeup it's on? It's dawn. People can see in the outside. Dawn butt's crack is still covered. <laughs> Dawn's butt crack is not even visible yet. You've been awake since nighttime. I've been awake since 2.30. Yeah. So now yeah. I have questions for you. Okay. When was the last time you had this much makeup on at 5 a.m.? It was a really, really long time ago. And was it wasn't because way I home? applied it in the morning. <laughs> It was on the way home. It was on the way home from a night out. Yes. Where did you go till was five in the morning? Like a wedding or I don't want to say. You're really <laughs> messing with me. Why? Your lipstick again on your tooth. <laughs> oh, God. How are you doing that? Good. It was gone when you rubbed it off. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to tell you anymore. No, you should tell me. I should? You should never leave a woman with lipstick on her teeth or What if you've already her told mouth? her twice? It's okay. Just keep, keep putting telling. lipstick on her teeth. <laughs> At some point you would say, listen, lady, you have to learn from your mistakes. Stop eating your mouth. Go get a sandwich. <laughs> Have you had breakfast? Yes. I've done everything. I've had a shower. I've brushed my teeth. I've had breakfast. I've put makeup on. I think I sent three emails. I'm good. It's not and even it's six. still not even six. Not even six. You I still unpacked. have four minutes. Yep. I unpacked all of our stuff. I've done a load of laundry. At what time? I, I finished hear... my book. I'm glad you finished your book. Why? This is reading on your phone. It was kind of weird. Well, I just thought you were on your phone the whole time. I wasn't. I was so reading I had these like book. feelings of, wait, I'm sitting here beside you and you're just surfing the internet. And I know everyone I, knows that feeling. And then you look and it's a book and you're like, ah, if you were sitting here reading a paperback, it's totally cool. I agree. But you're sitting here staring at your phone. You yeah. sort of feel like, what the hell's going on? Well, I'm sorry that you thought that. I was reading a book. Well, I would like to put that on my list of three things. I'm going to update my wrist on, on your phone. phone. <laughs> yeah. You're going to waste... Well, it's One not wasted. Your... It's just, it's active. Well, the only reason nice I did recently. it... very nice recently. I don't have any annoying things to put on the list. Oh, thanks. So I'm that's... adding other stuff. That's really, really... Tier sweet. two stuff. I'll give people a recap. But the reason I was reading on my phone was because... You forgot what to the clap. Heck? You forgot to clap. When I said clap, you said the birds, remember? Yeah, we covered but I don't this. know if they can hear the birds chirping outside. Okay. We were traveling back from India. Yes. And I did not want to lug around that big book that I was that I had taken to India. I had ordered that book from the library. Yes. And I was on wait list. Like yes. it was on hold for many, many weeks. Yes. And it finally came. When? Like uh, three or four days ago. So I was really excited to read that book and I knew that it would my hold would lapse if I didn't read it immediately. Meanwhile, yes. you took a book that yes. weighs over two and a half pounds <laughs> with you. <laughs> Which you didn't read yes. because you had a digital version that you're carrying around of a different book. Yes. <laughs> so now you appreciate why I'm confused by your behavior? Confused, maybe. Annoyed, no. I'm not annoyed. You're you the one making annoyed. the annoyed. I'm just listening to the birds. Okay. Tell people oh, okay. how you minimize the amount you had to pay for excess baggage I will by tell one them. simple move. I will tell them. But welcome back to another episode. Oh, we still have to do this? Yeah, we still have to do this. We're oh, the intro. Okay. I'm if you have stumbled upon this by mistake, <laughs> we will now tell you who we are. If you are still here after <laughs> seven minutes of hearing, like you called the wrong number, you've had a full conversation, <laughs> and now people are like, oh, hey, I should tell you my name. If that is you, one <laughs> random person who stopped, back button, froze, Just in case let us confused, tell you why you're here. I am Sheena Malwani, and we are back with another episode of Sheena Interrupted. I am Trid, <laughs> and every time she tries to say interrupted, I interrupt her. Get it? Good. I've explained it to the... Sheena to the, wah, la, 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 la. <laughs> I was trying to explain you it to you. You weren't supposed to tell people. We made it almost 10 episodes without you breaking this. It's over this. two months. I know. So it's good. They should know now. They should know that you All never let them. me say the title of the show. <laughs> yeah, they should know. 
<laughs> go look on the YouTube page and see if you could read the word interrupted. Mm -mm, they shouldn't be see, able to. See, these are the kind of Easter eggs we do for you. Yeah. All right, so we are back with another episode, and today... Okay, we have to get it started at 6 o'clock now. Today is the jet lag episode. The jet lag episode. Because we have been awake since before the sun in Boston, and um, I think I was up at 1.30. I was up at 12, then I was up at 1.30 again. I read my book, I finished it, I got up, I sent some emails, did a load of laundry, went back to sleep, then got up again 4.30, I think, for the day. I woke up at... 408 408 yes yeah so it's gonna be a really long day <laughs> no it's gonna be a wonderful day i think it's gonna be fabulous Up early no need for caffeine feeling good yep. fully dressed before five is this how people do it like there's a whole yeah. universe of people out there who wake up early feel great yep and who don't spend hours at night watching TV or, you know, sort of doing other random things. Yeah, they go to bed at like nine. Yeah. That, which is great. So if you go to bed at nine and you wake up at Four. 5 a.m., that's eight hours. Yeah. No. I don't even sleep it's eight not, hours. Is it? No. Four. Three nine plus to four. five is eight. <laughs> nine to four is not eight. I said five. I said four. So you're not waking up anyway, so okay. it doesn't matter. <laughs> nine to five is eight hours. I don't normally sleep eight hours. Mm. So if I got seven hours and I went to bed at 10 mm -hmm. and I woke up at five, I think I would be a lot more effective, a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, because at I'd five, be nobody's up. The distractions haven't started. You don't need to be on your phone. You don't keep getting notifications. You don't get all these dings. You can. I do... don't even do that when I wake up at eight. But just the idea of being up mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. is kind of peaceful in a way yeah. the birds are the singing dark. to us now you're happy about the birds I told you're you. about to take your pellet gun and shoot them 10 minutes ago <laughs> no, when i was I trying to listen to their sweet song i was and you're just like, trying no. to tell my story is all <laughs> they don't care they're no they don't chirping. care that's fine i wasn't annoyed at the birds i was annoyed at you for not letting me finish my story I'm listening to the birds all right so why are we awake at this hour this is one of the Nice gifts you get when you travel east yeah. and you come back. Yeah. When you travel west, like if we go to California and we come back, it's the opposite. It's, it's miserable super hard to, to wake get up. up. And then you're awake all super night. Super hard to go to bed early. Yeah. And it takes some time to recalibrate. But when you travel to the east and you come back. We like hold off on the like, recalibration. <laughs> yeah, you're desperate to go to bed. You're holding on to fall asleep. Yeah. We went to bed at nine. Before the kids. No, kids tucked us in. <laughs> yeah. They came in. They tucked us in. They lied to us the way we lied to them. Oh, I'll be back. Don't worry. And then we just went to bed. Yeah. And it that was, was what? 8.50? Yeah, 8.45. 9, somewhere there. It was close to 9. Yeah. I had a few minutes before or after, but I was out. I also woke up at 1 something, but luckily I was able to go back to bed. And then I woke up at 4.08. Yeah. You know how I know it was 4.08? How? Because I looked at the clock. Oh. And it said 4.08. That is always a good that indication of, of what how, time it yeah, is. How you know what time it was. But one of the things that always happens when I travel to India is I'm always moved by the amount of time people spend on their... How do you even say this? On their inner peace yeah. for better or for worse. Yeah. And the I'm not saying they're successful. The country is very, very focused on their peace of mind, their inner stability, their spirituality, their love of God. Yeah, religion yeah. and all for good the, and bad, yeah, right? All but of it. there's a there's an element there. And, and there's this, this constant is, reminder too because it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Exactly. And this isn't limited to one particular faith or anything like that. I I'd be interested actually comments from the India-based atheists below, please, on whether you could be an atheist and still believe that there's some energy or something that can motivate your world. You think they believe in something, but they just don't believe in God? Yeah, it could be anything. I think atheists don't believe in anything other than what they see. I don't know. I'm not an atheist. Um, but, but yeah, it's but, everywhere. In yeah, India, wherever some... you go. And it's not forced on you. That's the thing. It's not a for at least not where where we were and with the people that we were spending time with. It's not something that is like you have to do this. No. It's just everywhere around you and you, you can take it. it or leave it. 
So you to give you one example, we were there and we walked into somebody's house mm -hmm. and they had a little corner of the house devoted to their uh, religion yeah. or their religious beliefs. And a couple of times a day, it was like you're sitting there watching TV and all of a sudden you turn around and someone's praying in front of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is good? Where No one's ever done that over yeah. here. And we went into a hospital at one point. <clears throat> that was the thing that moved me the most. The hospital, like entrance where you walk in you just pass by a little prayer room room yeah and people would take off their shoes or slippers set their and, intention yeah and stand there for 30 seconds yeah. a minute yeah and they had a little prayer placard on the wall to yeah. guide those who maybe didn't know even what to say yeah and then folks walked into the hospital. Beautiful. It was kind of, it, it was, was interesting really to beautiful. see. And, you know, just watching the people like sort of inch towards that space, a little more nervous. And then when they left, they were just, their shoulders were a little bit more calm, relaxed. And they had sort of set that intention that, okay, I have something higher taking care of this process with me. Yeah. So all this to say, <clears throat> this is not a, I, I, I don't even understand the, the different shrines and this and that that i saw i couldn't tell you if they were all the same religion or different religions or how they handled that but for me coming back it was a good way to say hey i'm up it's four in the morning what do i do now and i sat up and i'm like oh let's try to meditate a little bit let's see how this goes mm. and it was a good way to start the day yeah so if you have meditation tips <laughs> send comments what do you do? Just sit there in the dark? Yeah. Stare at the... Just be just, with... Just sit there and, and quietly remember things. That's the one thing with meditation. I remember my to-do list from 2014. <laughs> my memory is sharp when I'm trying to not do That's anything. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. I don't know what you're I'm supposed, supposed to do. You're just supposed to sit My mind still. is scattered. You're supposed to find stillness. That's the I whole can. point. I'm still looking. Okay. Just but there's a lot of up. things we need to do. No, I don't want 17 to 17 <laughs> things that I know you need to do that you haven't done yet. Because they're all pinging Did me in my head. Did you stop and write a list? No. Good. I still have it in my head. Okay. I'll remember it tomorrow when I try to meditate again. Okay. So that was one takeaway. So for me. this is what what I wanted to actually talk about. This is a really cool segue because I wanted to talk about like five or ten things that we loved about our trip to India. I don't have so many things. I have a few. I'm sure Go we ahead. could come up with ten together. Yeah. Or five together. Okay. Or seven and a half. Just say your own things, man. You don't need my. That approval. was one of my things. What? The the stillness and the the like just peace and faith. There is no peace in a country that populated. <laughs> There's absolutely so no peace in some other So maybe that's why they need way. to meditate all the time because they're sitting, they're trying to get rid of that bam 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 bam, <laughs> the honking, incessant honking and traffic, People which honk ironically for no is reason. way better. No, there's a, actually a very good no, reason there's they there's no reason. There was nobody in front of no, the guy. No, always still honk. the reason they honk, and it even says it. Huh. On you, you remember reading on the back of honk, some trucks, okay. honk, okay, honk, please. <laughs> it's because they don't use the mirrors yes. as much to see what's behind. They yes. use sound. Yes. So if you honk, you're essentially saying, "I am I'm coming." Here. So here, traffic is solid. Yes. Like blocks that move, yeah. and you see someone coming, you you don't go. Like you see a car in front of you, you're responsible you from exercise behind. Exercise some discipline, discipline. Of not moving. Yeah. In India, it's fluid. Very. Very fluid. So it's you really literally like watching move. water. <laughs> yeah. So when you're in one lane and someone's in the lane beside you and you are accelerating and the car in front of you is slowed down, you honk the horn and you trust that as you swerve into another car, <laughs> that car will move out of the way or it will slow down. That Even is if their the car responsibility. is coming towards you. Oh, yeah. No problem. You just keep going and everyone just finds their way <laughs> it is pure chaos if you do not know what's you can't like if you have not grown up driving in that country you will have no idea what is happening but every single person that drives there gets it they understand it they feel it they see it they just keep honking they honk. and going they honk for a reason <laughs> they honk they say i am here you get out of the way <laughs> And if someone else honks, you now you're on notice. You but have to get up. Just the way. so you know, that means that every single car on the road of a country of how many billion people <laughs> is yeah. honking. Honking. <laughs> just this honks is not just car day. honks. This is motorcycles. These motorbike honks. Kids walking in the street going honk honk, <laughs> so they don't get nailed. 
but it was impressive. It's crazy. It's absolutely impressive to watch. And it's also amazing to watch. So that was interesting. Why are we talking about traffic? That Uh, was definitely not one of your highs. (laughs) No, it wasn't. So why don't we talk about traffic? I don't know. It's just a highlight. Yeah. This might be just memorable things. 10 highlights. Things to... (laughs) Things that are unavoidable yeah. if you make this trip. It's been a long time since we've been back to India. And it's been a long time since I've seen the country as I remembered it. And it was nothing like I remembered. So this is where this came from. So the inspiration for this episode came from conversations we were having about how things have changed, both in our perception, in terms of overall, like yeah. actually objective changes. Yeah. How did you feel? Where do we start? So I'll start with this sense of overwhelm that I felt of like, oh, it's going to be, I'm going to get sick or I'm going to, I'm going to feel the jet lag or I just don't, I don't speak the language. So I'm going to feel out of place. I, all those things were immediately like completely tamed in my mind and my heart because when we got off the plane, it was. You just could speak Hindi all of a sudden. (laughs) No. Is that what happened? <laughs> ah, me agai. Hamara desh. Is that what you thought the minute you got up the plane? Hamara desh? I yeah. did feel that. Yeah, but did you like, say? Ah. No, I didn't. But it was like, the you, you sometimes build things up in your mind yeah. over time and you don't realize that you're doing it until you're there and you're like, oh, this is not at all you what I was thinking. You should be like me. Which you is? should still your mind in the mornings at 4.30 a.m. You were doing that before we went? Yes. Really? Yes. Tell the truth. No. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Were you also surprised? I was I was not nervous. I, I was think you very were nervous. nervous. I was not nervous. I've also made a couple of trips back yep. that you weren't on. So mm-hmm. for me it wasn't as big of um of a of a change. Yeah. But I also hadn't traveled to some of the cities that we went to. Yeah. So on my other trips, I'd gone to like one city and it was always work related. So it was less about, there was no exploring. It was get off the plane, go to the hotel, go to the company, get back and get get back to to the US. So for me, it was less of a shock that way. I also speak the language. So it's a little bit less daunting for me. But I was absolutely surprised in a really good way by the fact that the Metro was cleaner than boston like the tea the system is amazing with those tokens tokens. you pay for the token you scan the token it lets you through you get rid of the token like it's easy yeah it's very simple the you know the signs were all in multiple languages which made it easy yeah for those of you who have not been to india or haven't you know had friends who have gone etc people don't line up in india no it's absolutely and, and that was one thing that i was actually really nervous about because when i went the last time or even when i was in a big gathering of like indians in america like the nobody really they just kind of push around so <laughs> nobody this, really lines up or, or is organized and that's still the case in certain places yeah. but not in others which yeah. i just can't understand it was so, amazing there so, was so much order in the metro everyone yeah. stood in line to no get out of, out the, out of the line the <laughs> yet when we were trying to get into the airport tell yeah. them about the lady who you were oh, the lady the who little... kept trying to cut me off yeah <laughs> the, the, literally can't... with trolleys trying to get into the airport because you cannot enter the airport yeah. without showing your boarding pass yes so there are security checkpoints to get in yeah it's not dual lane it's one lane one lane but one then, officer one like one path line. forward and but i then, was holding the passports i was holding the passports and the boarding cards and you were pushing yes. the trolley and so it was my responsibility to get in front to the guy but then there was this lady that was trying to cut you off so every time and you're wondering like how is that even possible yes and i'll tell you how it's just like an F1. <laughs> On the corners, when you go to take a turn, there's an outside lane and an inside lane that apparently opens itself. <laughs> and she tried to take me on the outside. So Sheena stepped in front of Do it. Do you remember? I was actually looking at her and saying, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually not, put my arms that's, up. You cheated. There's an unwritten rule. You let people try no. to make the move. And if they beat you in the move, it's then not... you're just, you cannot 
there's no conversation to be it's had. It's allowed. just you take your L <laughs> and you say, damn, I should have covered the outside better. I tried to get a cup of chai at one point, like after one of my flights, I wasn't with you for that one. I tried to get a cup of chai and three people cut me off. Yeah, yeah. You're too slow. You got to get in there. Get I was in holding the my money yeah. and I was like, one cup of chai, but because I was speaking English, they knew. No, they're like, this, this, she's a sucker. I can't, then I switched to egg chai, please, egg yeah, chai. Yeah. <laughs> Even that, they know. They could smell your bed, bath and beyond on you. They're like, this lady has no idea what she's doing here. <laughs> It's like, you know those videos you see with the stock market on the floor? Yeah, okay. Where they're all like yelling at each other yeah. with the tickets? It's like that. I came to enjoy that piece. Yeah. Not, I don't, I, I don't want to say enjoy it participating no, in it. No, you enjoyed, enjoyed watching, watching it. me get No, even when I was in it. I was just these. I was just amazed by the sheer disregard for personal <laughs> it's space. Like, it's like you have to enjoy it. You have to immerse yourself in it. You can't get you know, annoyed. I was at the counter checking in my bags. Yeah. That same trip that I was on my own. I was at the counter with the agent. I had my, I was moving my bags to the belt. Oh, you turned. No, there was a lady Rookie that move. was waiting beside me or yeah. like for Your her parrots. turn. She was she, like, if I moved my shoulder, I was touching her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was And then she'll back off a little bit. No, it's she did normal. not. And the best is there's nobody behind her in line. Zero it's people. It's just this like, when you have billions of people, there's no the, the space required space is just... All. I am not touching you now. You know that kid used to play with your sibling? Like that game with your you, siblings? Touch I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. It's that game. It's just, but it's everywhere with strangers. I'm not touching you now. I had a guy who was parroting me also. Who? That's what I call it. Parroting. When they stand right at your shoulder. <laughs> at the gate. At, no, at the belt. Remember when we're waiting for the luggage? There's, there's, there's just so much space you. and the guy is lined up right over my shoulder. Yeah. And when the bag came, I, I would tell him. And by tell him, I would whisper it into my own ear. <laughs> I would say, that's my bag. I will be moving my body violently in your direction to heave it off the belt. You've been advised. And then as I leaned front for the bag, he moved away for a second because it's fluid. I put my bag down. And then he moved it. My up bag again. was moved. I think he moved it or you moved it. And he got right back in position. Because he is like, this guy already has one bag. He's going to be gone soon. And then I get to be the man in the front. There were only two of us. There was, was no just front. Amazing. It was just amazing. Everything in the front was open. It was insane. But when you got in the metro, people were not doing that. Yeah. So I don't know how this happened. Yeah. At some point, there's certain areas that is like new India. And then there's other areas that's traditional India. Yeah. Apparently, buying chai and... <laughs> belts for luggage in the airport that's all old india all airport is the old metro india. the mall is new india the mall yeah if we went we were in bangalore for a while yeah and there was a mall there that mall was it could have been anywhere in the me. world it could have been anywhere it was better than the mall here it was better than it the was mall here. absolutely spotless yeah and it was better than the mall here yeah but <clears throat> that comes with the type of security they had in that mall that was another one of my favorite things. <laughs> Go tell them. So this mall is like six floors, six floors high. high. The whole center is all open. So like you can see. Like an atrium. See, <clears throat> so you can see. What was really cool is there's coffee shops on every floor of the atrium. And everywhere you can see the escalators going up and down. And at every entry point and exit point of these escalators, there is a security guard watching to make sure that you behave yourself not on being the rowdy on the escalators <laughs> so if you're the one who decides that they want to run up or down the escalator you get a run tur -tur. okay it, that when, should be a violation but i decided that i just wanted to get there a little faster i started walking up the escalator oh my god <laughs> you criminal <laughs> yeah. so at me. why were you walking that thing's designed to walk for you take it easy <laughs> save wanted, your steps for the mall i wanted to be moving no 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 <laughs> you are moving i wanted to actually move my body no there was a kid the there was a kid who decided to walk that up the sh don't talk about that kid he's in jail now <laughs> he was walking up the downward escalator oh, that's the best game kids play <laughs> That kid's so deaf trouble. now. The guy, for whatever reason... He blew a whistle reason, in his face for 20 minutes. No, the guy at the bottom of that escalator was not there. And maybe he was like, oh, yeah, shift yeah. change. The guy from the across the The three other people had to cover. 
I thought they were going to throw a net like, on him. <laughs> that kid's now banned from all the malls in India. They were so mad. He's three years old. He didn't turn around. The security guard ran around the yeah. agent. But he didn't get there in time. He had to run halfway around the mall to get there. And the mom was like, oh, there's my kid. Picked him up and walked away. And the security guard was like ready to wrestle this kid, arrest him. I don't know what he was going to do to him. But the three-year-old escaped unharmed. He did. I also love the mall for another reason. What? We got so many people come up to us and stop us to take pictures or to say hello or to tell us that they watch our content. Yeah, it was In it was Bangalore sweet. Mall. It's not called Bangalore Mall. Whatever, <laughs> Forum Mall. Yeah, that's a weird name to call one mall of many in a city. Forum Mall. It was so nice to meet every single one of you that bumped into us or came to see us or, you know, just saw us along the way. It was so nice to meet you all. You were all so kind. You were all so sweet. No one wanted to, like, intrude or bother us, but they were just so, so, so nice. So I want, I, it's funny you say all that, but when uh, we were getting these messages, yeah, people were saying, because I get it, right? Everyone knows we live in the US. Yeah. So all of a sudden, people who you follow online yep. are in your city. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit of a, what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. And can I see you? Yeah. And we had no time. Yeah. So we really want, we first of all, didn't realize that people would be, yeah. That excited. Totally. Because, um, you know, we make videos and podcasts from our basement. Um, With no knowledge of what's <laughs> happening outside these walls. So it was a little bit humbling. But at the same time, we were not able to accommodate. I must have gotten 100 messages saying, same. you're here, you're here, you're here. Can we meet you guys? Can we meet you guys? Um, we couldn't do it because we were on an extremely, extremely tight schedule. But next time we are back, we, have we will to be a little a bit more grade. thoughtful. Absolutely. So thank you for your kind messages and apologies for not being able to uh, meet. Yeah. No, and it, if was, you are, it was really, really wonderful to meet whoever we did meet. Yeah. And it really gave us this warm feeling of welcome. And it, it made us realize that we absolutely have to plan for a meet and greet the next time that we come into town. But speaking of that, why did you meet so many people in the bathroom every time you went to the bathroom you came out late and every time you said to me oh it's because i met someone what do you do in the bathroom i think it's do you like tickle yourself and laugh when you're in a stall no it's not that i'm in the bathroom it's that i'm waiting for the bathroom right so anybody that comes in they actually see me standing still when you're walking around People don't necessarily look at the people around, but you're in a small enclosed space. All of a sudden, you're looking at the people in front of you just as How many decent, women are just right? standing there interviewing each other's They're faces in the bathroom? They're not interviewing, but Like, it's... I go to the bathroom, I pee, I wash my hands, I come out. <laughs> because like, this for is... men, life is a lot easier. You go to the bathroom, there's always an empty stall or an empty urinal. Were there for no women... stalls? Like, you just all looked at each other there's... while you did your business? There and are you said, stalls. oh, how are you? What do you do? <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, I pee in public and I make videos. And the lady's like, oh, I'm an accountant. This is I one of the benefits you. of being a man that you can just go into a bathroom. There's never a line. You walk in, you do your business, you wash your hands, you leave. For women, there's generally a line. There is 95% uh, of the time there's a line to get into the bathroom. So you kind of mill around with other women and you're not talking to them, but you see them, you acknowledge them. And you meet them. And you meet you're them. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. But that's where you met the most people this trip. In the in bathroom? Ladies bathrooms. Yeah, absolutely. Or on the plane. Because Not... apparently Qatar Airlines <laughs> just shows, as part of their training, they show our videos. <laughs> because there's an like, unusual yes, amount of... Of the attendants, the flight attendants, attendants that who, we're recognizing. Who actually follow you. <laughs> Thank you to all of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they took really good care of us. So we have no order to this episode. No, we're just so talking about, about our we've talked about the highs. mall. We've talked about... I'll talk about another one. Right, go ahead. The food. The food. The yeah. food was, it deserves its own episode because there was so much good food. And what I love about the way that India packages their food or kind of identifies their food, everything that is vegetarian, purely vegetarian, yeah. no eggs, no fish, no meat, has a little green dot. So if you see a little green dot, you can eat it. If you're vegetarian. If you're vegetarian. If you're not, you can, you eat, can it. eat everything. Yeah, exactly. And they have a red triangle. For non-vegetarian. 
any of those other items. Which is so different from the way things work anywhere else. But in the States, you know, if we don't, if we can't eat something with eggs in it, we have to go and like read the packaging. That's and also easier now in the States because now at the bottom in many bold. It says may bold, contain eggs or not something. Not that. It, ha it says the allergens. It never used to be like that. You'd have yeah. to sit there with your magnifying glass and read everything. Yeah, it's true. But in India, and it's been like this for a long time, like even when you go to a pastry shop or you go to a restaurant that has food in a like in, on in the counter yep they have a little card they have a little card and the card will say it'll show you the green dot and then i went to this wedding i spent two days and i raced out to this wedding you did not go with me but i spent two days in delhi for a wedding and all of the cards for all of the food that was laid out even at the yep. wedding had the same That's standard symbol. so people yeah. over there looking at or hearing this are like, what are you talking about? What do you do over there? Like, uh, we, read we ask people we ask. repeatedly. Yes. And why we don't have the system? Because it's just not as much of a cultural thing yeah. for people to be vegetarian here. It's yeah. way better now yeah. than we were going when we were growing up. There's so many options. There's so many good things you could eat now, yeah. I think, anywhere in the world. But growing up, I remember kids would have parties at McDonald's and I would get a bread and cheese like i'd say oh can i have a burger with no burger like a cheeseburger with no and they'll burger. be like what are you talking about I'm like uh, i want the bread yeah and i want a piece of cheese maybe you'll and some if tomato. you can put a tomato in there but please hold the mayo because i think that has egg and the person be like look just get this kid out of here throw <laughs> him in the ball pit fries. give him a french fry and i'm like no i think that's fried in lard <laughs> you'll get sued about this in 25 years and true. that was it so it wouldn't do anything but now like in mcdonald's everything. in india there's some things on the everything. menu that have a green dot. You can. There's so many things for you. To KFC, eat. yep. Burger King. All these places have popped up in India. Kentucky and Fried Chicken. KFC. A vegetarian option. As a vegetable zinger. <laughs> so every place has to have it because yep. they have to accommodate. Yeah. But was, that's not your. You actually have a regret. What's if my I'm regret? remembering correctly, I do have a regret. You have a regret that you didn't get diarrhea on this trip because <laughs> apparently that's one of your highlights of going to India. It's not. You yes. No. Yes, it is. You have said to me repeatedly, if we had time, I did not say I, would I love want to, to get to No, you've acknowledged it would be the natural <laughs> outcome. You want to go to a street okay, wait, vendor. Wait, 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 let wait. me finish, then you clarify. You want to go stop on the way after a 17-hour <laughs> journey. On, no, no, let me finish. <laughs> no. And then you want to stop. You want to go to a street vendor. Who because has that's no... part of the experience. So let me tell them what the no, experience is. No, but explain is. the experience. I'm trying, but you keep interrupting me. <laughs> You're just so you go, you stop. Me. I haven't said it yet. So you get off the plane, you get your luggage. On the way home, you stop. You see some random person on the road. That's that's a requirement. There can't be a store. There can't be any rules. It's not random. It's a cart. It has to there be a cart. Are, there are designated spots for the, the street carts that we street like. Street carts, yes. That's key. There's no electricity involved. There's no street address. You don't. You can't say, oh, I went to this store. No, it's just, it's like, I went to the to guy road. on the corner of... This and this. Yes. I bought the food yeah. from the street vendor. Yes. B road I ate vendor. it. Yes. Then I get home and I <laughs> violently for two days. <laughs> that's that's part of your routine, right? One day? How many days do you destroy a toilet when you go to India before you can now she it's like a, it's like getting a vaccination but from the mouth. You eat it, it destroys you on the inside. And then you are immune. Now you can lick walls. You can eat sand. You can do whatever you want, but you're good. Now, this is a system Sheena used to deploy when she used to go to India as a kid for a month. Okay. The when you're there for 10 days, you don't, you don't have 20% of your time to sit in a toilet. That we did this was because we would go to India for two or three months yes. at a time. We'd be out and about. And these street vendors, the food there is so incredible. They like serve you in newspaper. Yes. It's not hygienic or not the most hygienic yes. option, okay? But the food is so, so yes. good. It's part of the experience. And when we would go shopping, we would go out for the day and we would be eating from these street vendors during the day yep. too. They would, we'd be sitting in the shops, like looking at saris and looking at outfits and they would bring the food to us in the shops. Like there's yep. no way to avoid that. Why say no? Because it's too good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I value my anus. So unlike her, <laughs> no, I don't eat so that stuff. So you just like, 
You power through it. You get a little uncomfortable for two days. A little yes, uncomfortable. Yes, a little for uncomfortable. Two days. I've build, already translated that you for you all. Build your immunity. You like thicken up your stomach and you move along. So why did you not do that this <laughs> because trip? Because you didn't let me. Did you get violently ill this trip? No. So it actually works when you avoid street vendors who may not be using <laughs> the best that. water in their products. Did I take you to places where they actually I'm sold sad. the same items, yes, but they but had a storefront? Wasn't, it wasn't as good. Yes, it, it was. It was really good, but it wasn't as good. Like it was 95%, not 100%. I think the those street vendors, the food is like a hundred and ten. I think if you yes. would have exploded from the backside <laughs> after eating from one of those hotels, you would have said, "Oh, that was just as good." I think you were missing part of it. I think when you're sitting there vomiting <laughs> no. from every I orifice, you're vomit. like, "Oh yeah, that was good." I'm proud that my stomach can control. It cannot. It can. <laughs> if it could, you could eat it. No, my stomach. If that... your body is like, get this out of me now, now. You, this is the, the, you would never have eaten this way if India wasn't equipped with every... This is one of my highlights. Another segue. Every bathroom, like Japan, has water functionality in the form of a hose. If you didn't have those hoses growing up... You don't even know how to use a bucket. Don't pretend. If, if you didn't have the hose, yeah. you would have not eaten this way growing up. Because the toilet paper is like sandpaper. Yes. Still. Yes. There's no such thing as two ply. India does need to move up to two ply or three ply. But they have water. This is true. The the toilet paper is not the key. It is just a ancillary. It's for like, it's for tapping. Yes. (laughs) Not for wiping. So that is very clean that way. Yes. But you didn't go to the bathroom. Where were we? The first stop somewhere you went in and you came back out. And you're like, nope. (laughs) I'm like, why didn't you use the bathroom? You're like, oh, the actual toilet is missing. <laughs> it, was a- <laughs> it was the squat upon it. And there was it. no toilet paper at oh, yeah, all. You, then she started carrying a <laughs> roll of toilet paper in her purse. Toilet paper in yeah. my purse. So that's pro and con list. Like it's <laughs> the water is great. The toilet but paper is not. Honestly, and sometimes you walk in, you're like, oh, someone stole the toilet. <laughs> There's just a hole in the ground. What I noticed afterwards is every time I went into a bathroom after that, there was always somebody there to like kind of guide the flow and keep things clean. And they always pointed to like the American They told toilet. you. You're like, that one's got a chair. That's for you, ma'am. <laughs> you some extra toilet paper. Yeah, they gave you. They knew. They could read you. They're like, this lady probably just ate shot. I'm going to put on my headset. Did those people have Bose headphones? No, they did not. They should. When they see foreigners coming in. They're like, did you just eat here? Yes. Okay, here's toilet paper. I'm going to put this headset on. You text me when you're done. Please don't pass out here like the last foreigner that ate something oh on the road. Oh, my God. You don't. You're like exaggerating so much. Only because you survived. If you would have gone to the streets, you think you still have the stomach of like I, a seven-year-old from I America. Do, from, my mom goes every year. Your and mom she was eats. born in India. Yeah, she's, so she she's wanted coded to, differently. She wanted to make my stomach tough like hers. But it wasn't it happening. Is. It's, I can do it. Okay. Next time. Next time. The problem is you're right. They were there for such a short time. So 20% of two weeks is a lot is a lot bigger commitment than 20% of two months. Yeah, who cares if you're <laughs> for two days and you're there for two months? <laughs> That's fine. It's like the olden days. It's fine. You know, it's like in the days of war, they'd cut off a finger. Like, who cares? You don't need that. <laughs> now when you're there, you know, you're a juggler, you need your fingers. <laughs> I, I still find it shocking that you think it's a good idea because to have completely unsanitized water in your it's system. It's so good. When I would go on these business trips, yeah, and I didn't do this this time because I trusted in the system yeah. i trusted that the hotel is telling me that and hotel is a word for restaurants hotel is a word hotel <laughs> hotel is for restaurants hotel is for where you stay yeah. so if i go into a restaurant yeah. i'm trusting that they're using bottled water yeah. for all of the cooking yeah or they're boiling everything yeah but even then i'm hoping they're using bottled water yeah i mean the places that we stayed at i think that they all did they all did well i'm yes they did so because we didn't trust. get sick. And I did something I haven't done in India in a decade. Which is? Brush my teeth with tap water. Oh, you never used to brush your no, teeth? No, I would use bottled water. You because just I was there for the I water. was there for, but it still goes in your mouth. Come on. I was That's there really for like the height of exaggeration. Days. But when you're there for five days for work 
and you're already dealing with jet lag, yeah. the idea of getting sick even yeah. a little bit. So my rule was no water yeah. in my mouth yeah. other than bottled water. So brushing your teeth is, you know, <laughs> like if you're showering and washing your face, those are the risk times that you don't realize. Yeah. No cold foods, like yeah. no salads. Yeah. That's another area where you get nailed. Yeah. And fruits. People wash the fruits, they wash the salads in water, and it's not bottled water, and then water gets in your system. And that's yeah. when I, that's my theory, anyways. That's when you get sick. Yeah. But if you're staying at a, a good hotel, or you're going to a restaurant, I think they've mitigated these. I don't know if they use different water you think or what they, they do. They wash the salads with bottled no, water. No, I don't know what they do. Maybe I filtered find that water. Very hard to believe. Maybe but you don't filtered. get sick. That's the thing. I haven't gotten sick in these places. But even then, I've avoided fruits. I've avoided it. And the third culprit that nails you, that you have to be very careful for, is ice. Yeah. So they say, oh, do you want ice? No, you don't want ice. Because the ice you is don't made from regular water. Who knows? Right? You just don't know. When we were with our family, my uncle asked me, do you want ice in your drink? And I said, no, just as an in, as a instinct. And he said, it's filtered water. Like he reminded me. Oh, there me. you go. Yeah. So yeah, people do use filtered water for that. But so yeah, even though it's really hot, yeah. I would primarily eat cooked foods yep. or something that's like packaged. Yep. But yes. you have an interesting story about the dairy. Yeah. Like on the topic of food, every day the, the, the food is brought from the market. Like the fresh fruits and vegetables are brought from the market. The milk is delivered fresh every day or every other day. Everything is fresh. It has a shelf life of two days. It was amazing. At at best remember the bottles we bought yeah they're so the little they're, they look packaged but they yeah. they have a shelf life of two days that was shocking to me yep and for the last maybe six or eight months i have not been able like every time i have dairy whether it's cheese milk butter sour cream i just don't feel good like i feel my stomach hurts so you can't have dairy in america but you're gonna have unfiltered <laughs> garbage water in india i didn't have unfiltered okay. garbage i'm just water. trying to understand the, the maybe now the stomach my stomach, stomach wouldn't with. be able to tolerate it but up until like eight months ago i was fine you couldn't tolerate it when you were a seven-year-old <laughs> why would you be able to tolerate it now so i went to india and somebody offered me a cup of chai and my head was really hurting i needed caffeine and i was like you know what I will take the sore stomach. I just need to have a cup of caffeine. And I had the chai. And the chai in India is so good. It's everywhere you go. It's That's where just it comes so from. good. But I was like, this is dairy. It's going to wreck me. But it didn't. I could tolerate the all the dairy. Yep. Like yogurt, cheese, paneer, milk, So everything. what's the difference? Do you guys know? If someone knows, can you please help educate us like it's just like ultra ultra pasteurized and processed here? here and it's just there it's so much fresher so what can you get like farm milk in the u.s maybe or it doesn't exist maybe but i'm okay cutting out dairy here like i really don't think our bodies require that much right. dairy but over there that's all you had yeah because you're like oh damn i can process dairy yeah it was so good and dairy is a good source of protein yeah so i was eating it there but here i don't know i just i feel like it's not there's necessary. definitely a difference huge, guaranteed there's a difference huge huge difference on the food side you can get a million <laughs> options of everything it's very fresh but i'm looking around and over here i think there are a lot more gluten-free sugar-free yeah things like that allergies like peanut allergies right you do not have that level of care distinction over there it's yeah. just not caught up yeah. um and then they do a lot of deep fried stuff like deep yeah. fried desserts deep fried deep snacks fried. deep fried burgers deep yeah. fried a lot of deep fried. everything's fried yeah. so if you want to be super healthy eating we we don't know that was not part of our our regimen was you not you can be you can but it wasn't part of our thing no. like we don't we don't we cannot speak to that we do yeah. not have that knowledge we know the veggie stuff are all green dots we know it tasted amazing yeah so another thing that we got to do which was super fun and it was short but it was super fun we got go to back go to... back to your to where you used to the bathrooms you used to destroy <laughs> as a child and then we flew out from mumbai back through doha yeah to boston yeah and we'll get to the trip in a second but we were able to spend eight hours with family of yours yep. who you haven't seen again in a really long really, time. So really how did that time. feel? So I hadn't been back since my grandfa my grandfather passed away. That was the last time I was in Mumbai. And when you I You had no kids. We had no kids. None of your cousins that I could think of. Nope. No, none of nobody them had, kids. had kids. None only one of my cousins had kids and they were really, really little. Yeah. 
And going back to see that entire generation of cousins that I grew up with now grow, fully grown with their own jobs and wives and husbands and lives and children it was so nostalgic. It was so heartwarming. I mean, you have was a better... Was it weird? Like everyone's up a level. The uncles are it now the grandparents. Yeah, the uncles the are now the cousins grandparents. Cousins are the and, parents. And when I walked in and my uncle, my mom's brother was there. That's where we had dinner. And when he hugged me, it was like being hugged by my grandfather. Like he was just watching him change to He's that next generation. Now. He's yeah. like the grandfather of the group. And the way that he just poured all of his love into that one hug, it was like my grandfather. And he whispered in my ear, I love you. I'm so glad you're here. Those are the things that my grandfather used to say to me when I would go visit every summer. And just being around that family that I grew up with was so nostalgic and so amazing. And no one was weird like no one was oh you know so what are you doing how is your life everybody just fit it was like you went back in time it really was like we went back in time and we were joking about things about cousins that we grew up joking about like so and so used to do this or it was just it was so heart filling and bucket filling i left there so completely satisfied with even those few hours that I had so to all of you who came out thank you thank you thank you for just making the time because it was so last minute it was like hey we're gonna be there tomorrow can you all come can you come (laughs) sorry for that too. please come it'll be fun (laughs) and and for the for the cousins that weren't there we really really missed you yeah (laughs) so that was India so what else did what quick do your quick mental thought of what else happened that you were going to tell me after we stop recording oh crap i yep. wish i thought so about this so there's one more that. thing you know when you are when you are indian and living in this like in north america you're constantly trying to infuse your culture into your life here right we want to that's true we want to hold on to our roots we want to experience part of like Indian culture in our daily lives or with our kids we want to teach them we want to enjoy the foods it's harder here right because we're not constantly reminded of it and then you go back there and you I had this sort of anxiety that I'm not quote unquote like uh, I don't want to say Indian enough but I'm not thank you but I am like it's Kiawa. I understand what you're saying but I have a lot I have a lot of anxiety trying to speak the language. I don't think I can make it through a sentence without completely Koshish. ruining Kariji. it. You? No, thank you. Ajnay. Maybe next year. So going there I had this sort of like anxiety that I'm just not I I haven't I, I haven't I think people know that you were born in Canada yeah. and you grew up outside of India. They're not expecting you Right, but fully so without being, you know, I, I'm trying to say this delicately without being offensive. When I'm here, I feel like I I'm trying to infuse it. When I'm there, I feel like I'm not quite enough, you know. And and I think that speaking to Indians that live outside of India, they often struggle with this. They yeah. often feel this sort of dichotomy of their lives. Um, where they want to experience all the things and all the feelings, but it's hard. It's really, really hard. So I had a little bit of that, but it, it was just, it was so nice to go back. It was so, it was like a big hug. I I feel differently than you do about that mm-hmm. because I think you're trying to find a spot between two mm-hmm. and you're saying I'm in the middle. Mm-hmm. I feel like there are three buckets and you're in the bucket for you. There are a lot of people whose parents were born in India, grew up in India, who have themselves grown up outside of India and mm-hmm. who have enjoyed going back and forth to visit family, etc. And you're square in the middle of that. Yeah. Yes, you cannot, you're not fluent in Hindi. You can't really speak Hindi. You can speak Spanish. You yeah. can speak French. Yeah. People in India, for the most part, are not speaking those languages. Yeah. You do speak those languages. You understand the culture here. Yeah. People over there travel to this side of the world and feel a little bit out of sorts because they're trying to figure out what it means over here. And that's not just India. That's That's the entire planet. So I think there's a spot for everyone. And I feel perfectly fine in that role. I feel perfectly fine saying I am living in North America of Indian descent 
and I, I am in both worlds and I fit perfectly in the middle of both worlds. And there are a lot of people that will respect and appreciate that. I think you need to just be who you are, not yeah. try to be who 100%. other people may think. And I, I, it, I don't struggle with being myself when I'm in either place, but there's just this awareness. There's this acute awareness that I am. You're not 100% exactly. Indian and you're not 100% Canadian North or American, American or Canadian right. or American. Right. Like you've spent more of your life in the U.S. Yeah. You grew up in Canada. Yeah. But you are ethnically Indian. Indian. So like there's, you know, you those are all yeah. parts of who you are. And I think it plays out perfectly in terms of how you appreciate and understand different elements of the culture. And you don't need to be more than that. Right. No, it was just, it was nice to tap into or lean into this side of yeah. myself a little bit more these last few weeks. You tend to do that when you get dressed up. When I get dressed up. You in... get dressed up in Indian outfits and you're like, oh yeah, I miss this. <laughs> I do miss it. You should just wear those outfits around the house. <laughs> like when I come home, I want you to do a puja for me. <laughs> just full blown. And start singing Bollywood songs. Yeah. Like what? Meri khabo me jo aai Aake mujhe chher jai Usse kaho kabhi saamne to aai Oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to tell people. What? Thank you. Thank you for listening. To, to the, the number, number one, one podcast, podcast you're listening to right now. <laughs> I forgot to thank them. Thank you Can so much. Can we move this to the beginning? No. Yeah, yeah, wait. No, I'm article two of the Constitution. <laughs> oh, my God. 